NSFW, what's the most NSFW thing you saw go down at work? A mountain lion appearing in the parking lot. Blocking the way into the office building. Definitely not safe to get out of your car and go into the building to work. Literally not safe to work. Guy at work occasionally used the machine shop on site to make pipe bombs. This was pre 9 stroke 11. I'm a teacher. Our smart boards are linked to our computers but you can freeze what's on the board so the students can do the work and you can check emails. Do registers. Etc. One guy thought he'd frozen the board and proceeded to sxt his missus over email during a lesson. He was at least smart enough to use his personal email but he was dumb enough to not check the board was actually frozen. Result was students photographing the rather scandalous emails and snapchatting them to each other. I work on a different site and within 2 hours it was all over my site as well. The guy no longer works for us. I had a co-worker that took massive amount of drugs on busy construction sites. To the point he would sway around and barely keep his feet. The company knew. But was so desperate for workers they turned a blind eye and never did anything about it. Shti company. Couldn't keep anybody longer than a year. Except this guy. Had many close calls on the sites and somehow never died. One day he just drove off a site in the middle of the day. The company trucks were GPS tracked. So they found him OD'd in it in the shady part of town. Edit. He was very dead when they found him. When I said OD'd in this context I assumed I did not need to clarify. When I worked at a hotel. One of the housekeepers was known to hook up with guests from time to time. The head housekeeper caught her in the act once. When she was trying to inspect rooms. Edit. I regret to inform the people who commented asking which hotel, and all the people who DM'd me asking. As well. But I don't think she still works there. That's just good customer servicing. I did not see it but it was recorded. We have cameras. Two sets of kids, 15-16, decided to have SX in the front row of a movie theater. At the same time while the movie was running, with people in the rows above them. They were wondering what we should do about the footage. I said to leave it. Don't look and it will go away in 30 days. Some states had laws about deleting evidence of a crime so I'll let the system take care of it automatically. The kids were shamed by police and parents. Police were called and so were the parents. The kids acted like it was no big deal. Gosh mom. You won't let us FCK at home. What did you expect? I did not see the event. Only the aftermath. But when the felines in the mall where I worked was bought out changing its sign to masses. A worker was electrocuted and died. At first. Mall management tried to stay open. But the police forced them to close for the day. Possibly a rumor only. But I later heard that the felines masses manager had insisted that the electrician work the sign hot. Any electrician that agreed to work on that sign hot was a dead man walking anyway. Would have got him eventually. Electrical burns are insane. Just never do that ever. I work janitorial at a university and was on the early morning shift. It was normally pretty quiet. 4. 30 am. With few people around. One morning I went to get onto an elevator and there were two people having vigorous SX. There was that awkward moment of us staring at each other as the door stayed open for a few seconds and then closed again. I had a good laugh then went about my work thinking little of it. Fast forward 3 years. I meet this girl and start dating her. After a few months we end up going on a camping trip and we were going to meet a few of her friends out there. When we arrive at the campsite. There was a second awkward moment as I recognized a couple from the elevator and they recognized me. When my GF went introduced us the three of us almost simultaneously said we've met. When my GF asked when and how we met. We just burst out laughing and ended up telling the story. Small world. I was working second shift security in a pharma company and a line worker came put to the boss's office all disheveled. The boss had gone home already. So I kept watching and two dudes came out of the office a few minutes later. One was still putting his pants back on. They were extremely surprised that the door to her office was on camera. 
Turns out one of the dudes had stolen a master key from a janitor's cart and had been using the manager's office as a bang pad. Guy came into work very late, back office for a bank, with two black eyes and completely beaten up. In front of everyone. And quite loudly. Said it was his girlfriend but you think I'm bad. You should see her. He was being serious too. Someone also caught him doing a line in the office toilet before he started work that day too. I'll just assume it was Wells Fargo. Saw my boss and a co-worker making out. They were both married at the time. Each came into my office later that day and had a sit down with me on why these types of things happen. I was 26 years old at the time. Sometimes when a boss and worker love each other very much. I'd use that as a subtle power move. I completely understand and would never tell a soul. Also could I get a raise and a promotion? I've worked at a country club for a long time and there is always scandalous shti going down. Housekeeper was fking the maintenance man in the laundry room. A member walked into the bathroom and witnessed a man giving another man a BJ. The beverage cart girl was flashing her new boob job to men for tips. The latest hot off the press story was two co-workers were having a threesome with a member and took pics on his phone. Wife found them. Sent them to the GM. Two co-workers fired on the spot. Plenty more stories but those are the top ones. Only thing I learned from this thread is that my job is either really boring or I'm never in the right place at the right time. Be the change you want to see. Woman pulled up behind our building. We had on site security and lots of cameras. She stops. Gets out. Drops her pants. And shts behind the building. Security goes out to ask her WTF she's doing. She scoops her mess up with napkins and drives away. Our office was near a mall and an interstate highway. There were restaurants and fast food everywhere. There was no reason for her to do that behind our building. I used to work at a GameStop. And some kid crapped his pants. Then let the evidence just fall out the bottom of his pants because he didn't want to stop playing one of the demo games. We had a bathroom. And we were in a mall with public bathrooms all over the place. He had options. I used to work at a library and there was a homeless guy who came in every other day. And he used to drunkenly piss his pants while sitting on the upholstered chairs. Got to the point to where we were replacing the chairs since the smell sunk in. And we ended up banning him for a year. If only there was some other form of seat that would freely allow urine to just flow away. Perhaps made of porcelain or other similar urine resilient material. Watched a dude do donuts on a forklift and get fired within about 30s as the super was standing there watching it go down. When I was in the navy the inspection sheet called for 4 donuts. 2 left 2 right. To ensure that if the steering went out or anything. It would be in a sorta of controlled environment. I got yelled at the first time. Till I pulled up the sheet and people realized the last guy just never did the inspection. I worked as a janitor at a hospital. There was a private restroom on the second floor. On multiple days. Someone positioned themselves above the toilet and took a dump all over it. It turned out to be a janitor on second shift. Edit. I worked third shift. I prefer this restroom except for the days when it was covered in poop. BTW I only talked to that janitor one time. He said he had been there for 10 years and planned to retire from there. Now that's job security. Watched someone get burned blow up. Night shift in the winter about 4 years ago. He needed to preheat a piece of steel so he turns on the gas. But goes away for 15-30 seconds to find his flint striker and comes back and makes the spark. Had third degree burns on most of his body. Came back 3 months or so later with pics of all the blisters scabs all that nasty shti. Work IT for a law firm. You'd be astounded how many times I remote into an attorney's laptop and he just has a straight up PRN folder on the desktop. I work for a medical device company. We have an on-site cadaver lab for testing. One day the lab freezer. Where we keep human tissue samples. Broke. The new one wasn't going to arrive for a few days. The lab tech wanted to move the samples to the freezer in the break room in the meantime. 
You know. Where we keep food. His boss caught wind of it before he actually moved them and put a stop to it. Had a fire drill at work one night. Attendance was taken and two people missing. Couple bosses went back in looking for them. Found them in a storage room having sx. Boss told them to finish up. Have a good time. Go home and don't bother coming back. When I used to work at in and out Burger. The fry girl accidentally chopped off part of her finger using the potato slicer. The entire sink was filled with fries and blood. In which the tip of her finger was floating around. It was quite a spectacle. First day at a job and out of nowhere an employee yells across the office at the boss we all know you're cheating on your wife with the secretary the boss freaked out and started yelling at all of us that his personal life is none of our business. The secretary was crying and they both left. I was supposed to be training with the boss that day but because he was gone we all just went down the street to some Mexican restaurant and drank all day. Pretty cool gig even if it was very short lived. I worked for U-Haul about 11 years ago and the location was behind a sketchy ass club that changed ownership constantly from lawsuits and shti. I came in one Saturday to open and my manager was late so I was alone. I get inside. Start pulling the displays out to the showroom and shti and I hear a loud ass bang on the front door. Scared the shti out of me. I look over and there's a naked girl out there crying and begging me to let her in. I grabbed a moving blanket to cover her and called the cops. She was covered in her own shti and had dried blood all over her. Turns out. She got drugged at the club that night and got gang raped. I apologize for using the word banged instead of raped. I certainly know the poor girl was our head and didn't consent. And left out there passed out. When she came to. She came running to the first place she saw which was U-Haul. Cinema Usher. End of the night and waiting for final films to finish and clear up. One guy was sitting in the back row, we would be standing at the front to the side, watching the credits. It is not uncommon for this. But the end credits finish and he is still there. I begin to walk up the stairs towards him. And he hasn't noticed me and I can make out he looks like he is asleep. As I get closer he suddenly looks at me and mouths something. Another head pops up from his lap. Another guy had been going to downtown with him. I instantly froze. Turned around and walked back down to the exit. They rather sheepishly left a few minutes later. I thanked them for their visit and hope they enjoyed the movie. Not where I worked, but in the 1980s it was reported in the local alternative newspaper that a manager had responded to an employee getting very worked up during a busy holiday rush by taking him into the back. Blowing him. And then saying all right now. Calm down. And get on with the job. Because they didn't name the business, except what they sold. Every store that sold that good was swamped with applications. Caught two employees banging in a laser tag arena supply closet. With an arena full of children and the game running. I've seen poop on the ceiling. The ceiling. Edit. Two separate events. You guys are gross wasn't there. Narrowly leaving before. This. 30F assistant manager at Burger King had post closed day party at BK. Most of us were high schoolers besides her and one or two others. Last three people at this party are her and two 17 stroke 18 year old guys I knew well. She had a MMF threesome with both of them at the BK. She was also engaged. Cameras captured pretty much all of the event. I came in the next morning to the general manager explaining what had happened and that we had three new openings. Three openings. I was a bartender working at a popular fishadelic drug themed pizza chain in my college town. Guy sat at the bar for about 30 minutes and we talked about music and playing guitar and he just seemed like a super nice. Cool guy. Then he was like I'm gonna grab a table and eat now. Good talking to you. Left a solid tip. But what he really meant was. I'm gonna go sit in a booth and stare in that table of girls while I jerk off under the table now. And that's what he did. Luckily. The girls immediately and loudly called him out and we ran him off. We heard rumblings around town of the same thing happening at several other spots. Edit. It was indeed Mellow Mushroom. Edit 2. 
The amount of different people asking if this was as a particular city is. Illoming. Must be happening more than I thought. Edit 3. For the record. All of the guesses so far have been wrong. I work at a grocery store around my neighborhood. I was restocking a shelf. Feminine products, when I came across a used tampon full of blood. I had to clean it up. And my co-workers all thought it was pretty funny. Keep in mind. I am female. And I understand needing to change your tampon. But please. For the love of all that is holy. Use the restroom that is provided for you. I used to teach high ropes courses. Obstacle courses that teach confidence. Teamwork. Etc. When someone's nervous about the heights. We encourage them to tell a joke to distract themselves. So a mom told this joke in front of her elementary and middle school age kids. Comma what's the difference between PSSY and parsley? No one eats parsley. Every time I go out to dinner with my wife and there's a garnish on the plate. I ask her the difference between PSSY and parsley. One night we were eating with her boss and her boss boss. When the meal came. I got a text that said don't you fck I'm des AIT. Oh. And nobody eats parsley. I see some people posting work related injuries on here so I'll share mine. I used to work in the kitchen at a fine dining restaurant. We were supposed to say oven door whenever we would open it. Especially if someone had their back turned to you. The guy that I worked with was super shy to the point of not saying things when he should and so he didn't tell me that he opened the door behind me. I turned around with a handful of trays and my arm smacked right into the door. It was so hot that I didn't even realize that I got burned until I pulled my arm away and my skin was still on the door. He never apologized for it and I got real sick of seeing his guilty puppy dog look that he would give me every day for the rest of the time that I worked there. Working a a raft guide on a beginner's trip with moms and kids and grandparents. A girl swimming in the creek along our route flashed her boobs to all the rafts as we floated by. And zero tips were given to the guides because somehow this was our fault. I was a raft guide for a large outfitter that also had a summer camp. We took the kids rafting and as we were floating by a rock a group of 4 girls flashed the entire group of 9-13 year olds. We had an afternoon activity where we would draw a memory from the day while waiting for parents to show up. We had to confiscate a lot of those drawings. Back in the 90s I worked at a car wash. Across the alley from the car wash was a small condo with a balcony facing us. One day. A guy was totally banging his girlfriend from behind on the balcony facing us. There were clothes. But pants dropped. Skirt hiked. We started to notice after a while. And as we pointed and showed more co-workers. Their tempo increased and then they finished. And we cheered them on. Not really NSFW. But more of public display of affection issue. At the grocery store where I worked in high school. Two of the, adult, supervisors started a relationship. As I was coming on shift. So was the female supervisor. We met her boyfriend at the time clock as he was clocking out and we were going in. They stopped to say hi and smooch each other for a minute. Just then. The owner's wife, who also worked there for some reason. Came around the corner and saw them. She said. Excuse me. You're both on my time. The male supervisor, who was one of the best workers they had. Straight up looked at her and said. I'm so done with your shti. Dude walked out and never came back. Biggest. Ballsiest move I've ever seen. I was on the toilet minding my own business while suddenly I noticed the shadow on the stool besides me moving awkwardly. Then I realized that the guy besides me was jacking off and I could see his dick as a shadow on the floor. That guy was famous for taking long trips to the bathroom. Now I know why. Does NSFW mean Sizzle only? Or does it include violence as well? If it does then I have many stories. I studied medicine in El Salvador and during my surgical rotation we saw a low of weird tea. This one time an ambulance brought two drunk guys who had been fighting because one had said that pork pupusas were better than cheese pupusas. Pupusas are a local dish. The other guy took offense and attacked. 
both drew their machetes and carved each other up. One guy was eviscerated, he was holding his guts in his hands. And the other was severely injured in his face. Arms. Back. I don't remember the outcome. This kind of incident is common unfortunately. Mostly during the holidays when alcohol consumption is higher.